Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile Ascendancy. We are in the Paranda Softcore League again, and uh, you know, lately I've been thinking, this Wild Strike build, it's starting to hit its sort of upper ceiling. Um, I mean, I know there's still a lot where we can improve on this build. We don't have a 6th link yet, we don't have all that good of a weapon, um, and all sorts of stuff, right? But... You know, it's starting, it's, it's, I'm having some trouble finding the appropriate upgrades for this build. And, you know, I'm starting to think, like, is it time to make a new character? I think that, you know, within the next maybe five to ten episodes, I think we're going to be done with this character. Um, and unless we find, you know, some sort of significant breakthrough, I, I don't, I don't know if, uh, if, if we can go too much longer with this build. Okay, let's take a look at what's in this map real quick. Three additional pro projectiles, they chain, there's tar, that's it, okay. So, let's do some more Xana maps today. Uh, for now, we can just look to gain some more currency, and I mean, uh, from, from this point on, there isn't much for us to do in terms of the build itself. The rest is just getting the appropriate weapons, um, or I, I guess appropriate items. Um, I, I'm not looking for any specific uh, unique items, so I guess the build technically it's 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 done, right? Um, and I mean the conclusion is this build is it, it's okay. It can clear like up to I don't know tier seven, tier eight maps, but once you get to bosses who hit really hard, uh, you're done, man. And I think the only way for us to get out of that hole that we are currently in is to get you know, damage that is so high that, you know, bosses don't even have a chance to hit us that many times. Um, and I, I don't know if that's feasible in sort of in, in the short term um, or, or, in the, or in the next few episodes. And I'm sure that if we were to work on this, ep uh, on this build, eventually it would get to a point where, you know, the damage is so, so high that it just clears maps really quick. I mean, in terms of clearing, it is a super good map for clearing clearing maps. Um, like it's really good at clearing clearing trash mobs. It's just and even like rares and bosses and stuff. It, it's pretty good at clearing clearing those as well. The only problem is clearing you know stuff like or killing stuff like uh, you know something that just does a lot of damage to you that you cannot out heal. Um, those are the big sort of the, the, the those are the big problems for us. Um, and I, I don't really know what to do about it. Like, another drill neck. I already have one, so... Thank you, but no thank you. What's this What's this gem? Winter's Bounty. Increased cold damage. Cold Snap has a 25% chance to grant a power charge on kill. That's pretty cool. But yeah, and I mean... Like I said, like you know, if we if we worked on it long enough, this build would become viable because we would just do so much damage that you know the bosses wouldn't be able to kill us. And but that's true of any build, right? So so then the question becomes: Is this build good enough to clear all maps? You know, all the tiers of maps go all the way to the end game. And I think the answer would be no. Uh, it's good enough for you know up to maybe level. 75 maps um, 76 something like that after that you're probably going to die and it, is this hardcore viable definitely not uh, maybe I've been playing like you know stupidly but it's just uh, sometimes you just get inevitable deaths and you have no choice but to avoid the boss um, I think a build is viable if you can if, if you don't have to skip bosses right um, but we skip like I or I don't skip, I just die and then I skip, but we're forced to skip, I'd say, around um, maybe one out of like 10 maps, right? Like, if we summon a Beyond boss, we have to skip those. If we get something that does a lot of damage, we have to skip those. So, uh, you know, this build might be done. Um, and I and I'll I'll sort of grind it out a little bit more. I kind of want to see what would happen if I were to get a really good weapon for it, um, and I'm willing to spend the currency for it. So at this point, we're just sort of 
trying to grind up enough money um, or, or raise enough money so we can get a better weapon and just see what will happen to this build. Honestly, I'm not too concerned about HP at this point. I feel like the 4,000 mark is like okay for us um, since even if we were to get more HP, I don't think it would make a difference. Basically, we're just not getting one shot at this point, which is good enough. Um, as a matter of fact, for the most part, uh, I don't think we're getting that low unless we're getting hit really hard. Um, so so I'm actually okay with the HP part. For the rest of the next 20 levels, I think I'm just going to focus on improving my damage. Probably getting all the damage nodes that are nearby, and then that will be our build. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get to 100. We're going to probably get to like a... Like 85 or something like that. Um, I think if I get to 85 to 90, somewhere between that, uh, there for my level, I will be happy. And that will be the end of this build. And then we can look to make a new character. If you guys have any suggestions on what character you you, you would want me to try playing. Um, if, if you have tried playing some really cool characters, let me know. Um, and I, you know, I, I obviously I would be willing to give it a try. Uh, you know, this, this character was one that... I kind of just made it up on the spot, didn't really think about it, didn't really plan it out. I feel like this Wild Strike character, in terms of the skill itself, it's a good skill. I, I don't know what everyone's complaining about. This skill is pretty good. Um, obviously, there are better, sk better skills, but you can scale it just fine, I think. And, uh, you know, the damage is always good. It, it does help that you're the Elementalist and you have uh, Elemental Conflux. Um, but uh, overall, yeah, it's 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 a good skill. I like it. Uh, if I would I play it again, I think I would. I think I would maybe try a different ascendancy class, and I would be down to play Wild Strike again, maybe with uh, with a duelist or something like that. It, it, there's potential there. Um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have if you if you guys have any suggestions on what other builds that you found to be successful, to be interesting, just uh, leave a comment and let me know, and I will consider it. I will think about it. Uh, right now, I've been you know looking online, looking at what other people have been doing, and honestly, I might just you know just follow a guide. And by follow a guide, I mean you know take a look at someone else's build and copy what they're doing, um, and go for something cookie cutter. Maybe not too cookie cutter, like. I don't know. I, 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 it depends on how fun it is. I want to do a fun build. And that is not to say that this build is not fun. It was really fun, actually. Uh, Wild Strike is, I would say, next to maybe Power Siphon. It's one of the most... It's like the prettiest build. <laughs> it's one of the prettiest builds. And, uh, I mean, a a aesthetics means a lot in a game, right? Um... And just because I I got to use like all sorts like you know all three elements and we were burning we were shocking we're freezing sometimes we're chilling a lot um, you know just just the fact that we're doing that it, it made this this whole leveling process this entire month actually it was just uh, I enjoyed myself it was really fun so you know this 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 build uh, is now uh, officially on palliative care uh, it's on its dying legs. Uh, that is not to say that I might not come back and revisit it, and we are not done yet, right? And I'm, I'm just saying this to to sort of let you guys know ahead of time, but we're, we're not done just yet. Uh, there's still probably another, I don't know, at, at least 10, episode left, 10 episodes left in this build. I still want to play it some more. I'm not done. I'm still having fun. Uh, but when I stop having fun, I will consider, you know, going into another build. Uh, so that's... So that's uh, so that's, you know, there there we go. That's the start of our episode. And we are actually, like, halfway through our map already. We're getting a lot of uniques. That's the second unique this map. Pretty lucky, I would say. And, you know, I, I, I would even consider... And I know it's a little late in the league, but maybe we can start doing, like, a magic find build? I mean, it would, it would be fun, you know, getting lots of drops and stuff. But for the most part, I feel like I would just want to... I uh, want a build that can progress nicely. I'm leaning towards maybe an archer build of some sort. Maybe we go for, you know, the stereotypical uh, Voltaxic uh, Lightning Arrow Blast Rain. Uh, I do have a Scolds in my inventory, so maybe I could go for like a weird hipster build again with Scolds Bridal. Um, I, I don't want to do the Veil Molten Shell build. It, it doesn't look all that fun. But, uh, but yeah, I mean... 
there's 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 many choices, right? Path of Exile is one of those games where uh, you you can you can you can be you can be a unique butterfly, and uh, people wouldn't blink an eye. Um, and yeah, so so, but I I might have had enough of the hipster builds. We'll have to see, actually. Oh man, this is this is a quick map. See, we're, we're like in terms of like low level. This isn't even low level. This is a seventy-one map, so that's a tier tier four. Okay, it's pretty low, but like for the most part, we we clear things, you know, relatively quick. So, so I mean, this it's still fine. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's no space for anything, huh? All right, let's head back. There you go. I think that map was cleared. Obviously, Mountain Ledge is very linear, which is why it was so easy to clear. But, uh. I mean, a lot of maps are like that, right? So, the one thing we can't do is the really difficult maps. And I'm just saying that. I, I don't. I'm not 100%. Like, I'm sure there are some difficult maps that we can do. But it's, like, risky, you know? Your, your butt is clenched the entire time. Alright, zero monsters remain. Alright, so Xana is level 5. Let's do some uh, more of our maps. We have a tropical island. Those are level 1s. I don't want those. We have some tier 4s. We can do some of our tier 5 maps, I suppose. Let's do the pier. I don't remember what the bosses are in these maps. So we're just going to have to wing it, I think. Cold resist. Power charges. Sure. Let's do it. And if we were to start a new character, we would, you know, still go through the same process of veiling anything that anything we're wearing when we die. And uh, really, it only matters once we get to like a higher level. When we're low level and we veil something. We'll just go get something else to replace it, right? We don't lose all that money, all that much money, which is really what I want. I don't want to get stuck in a process where you know I'm I'm playing level level thirty characters over and over in hardcore because because I die like you know in cruel or something like that. Um, those are like the most painful most painful moments I think sometimes where you have to play that you know Act three over and over again or something. Um, to be honest, I think uh, Act Two is my least favorite act, and uh, if I had to do that, you know, not just four times, like I'm okay with leveling al like uh, alternate characters, but if I had to do it like sixteen times, man, oh my god, I don't think I could handle that. But yeah, there are there are a lot of builds that I'm considering right now, um, and it's not that I have given up in this build. But uh, you know, we're 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 thinking of our of our five year plan. We're thinking ahead. Um, Pier is Pier the one with the? It's a doggy, right? I think it's a doggy. I'm okay with the doggy. If it's the chaos snake, then it might be a problem. We'll have to see. Okay, sure map. That's a tier four. Not what I expected, or not what I was hoping for. Is more. What I mean. <laughs> but yeah, packs like these are actually really easy to do. But uh, once we stop playing Math Path of Exile, it would give us some more time to do... Like, if we stop with this character, we would probably take like a... Like a Path of Exile break for one week. Um, and then start up again. And in the meantime, that would give us some more time to play our other games like uh, RimWorld and Darkest Dungeon and Stardew Valley. Which all do need to be played and... You know, I'm not saying this like it's a chore. I really do enjoy playing those games. It's just, you know, you only have so much time in a day if you're, you know, if you work full time. So, 
making room for other games seems like a, like a pretty good idea to me. Although, admittedly, I think most people come to this channel to watch Path of Exile. Um, and honestly, I don't know why you're coming here to watch the videos. We're, we're playing like a weird hipster build, man. But maybe that's that's what you like. Maybe you like the weird hipster builds. Maybe we should do it again. Maybe we should play, uh, you know, Cast on Crit Ice Wall or something. You know, that'd be fun. Cast on Crit Ice Wall. No damage. Or maybe a lot of damage. Who knows? You know, sometimes, sometimes the fun of not knowing is not knowing. You know, so, 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 sometimes not being able to, not knowing what you're gonna get, is is uh, is the best part of it. You know, it's a, it's a journey of discovery. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So far, though, I'm making it sound like you know this character is dead. It's 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 still uh, you know, it's still kicking. But uh, it is on uh, on its last legs. Like it's just I don't know what I what else I can do for this character, you know. This character is like that kid who uh, who who played way too much computer games, you know, in high school. And now he's in university, and he failed first year, and they got kicked him out of school, and uh, and he's like, I don't want to go back to school anymore. I'm gonna become a streamer. Yeah, I, I I don't know what I can do for you, buddy. I mean, if you wanna, if if you say so, if, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. You don't want to go back to school. Um, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna leave you alone at this point, you know. Which is kind of bad. That's you know, if if somebody is in a state where they say, you know, uh, I'm gonna quit school, I'm gonna start a career as a as a as a YouTube streamer, you should give them as much support as you can, right? You know, they're they're your friends, they're your family. I'm assuming this is your friends or family. Obviously, I'm making up an imaginary character, but uh, you know, if they if they say something like that, you you, you give them all the support they can. You know? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just, just do it. All right. I actually have a I have a friend who has a he has a little cousin who got just I guess I suppose too addicted into games. Um, failed out of first year, and uh, it doesn't want to go back to school. And I get it, right? You don't want to go back to school, so what do you want to do? And their plan was to become a YouTube streamer, right? You know, sound familiar? Sound familiar right here? Um, however, they also realized that you know having to do YouTube videos every day is too much work, so they don't want that either. So at that point. You know, that's actually what our build is, actually, now that I think about it, right? It's like, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you, I'm letting you do what you want, you know? I'm letting you be free, Wild Strike, but, uh, what's the plan? What's next? And it's like, I don't know, I don't need anything, this is it. This is it, man. This is it, Wild Strike. What else do you have to show me? Not much, man. Well, strike is Dunzo. Just like that kid. All right, all right. Desecrated lair. Find the beast's den. Yes, yes. Admittedly, we're not getting all that many maps, which is uh, slightly disappointing. Let's put all this in the stash. Okay.
Hunt down the infected beasts. This might be a little scary, I think. Is that a Veil Molten Shell? Ooh. Man. Okay. Okay, we did it. Is that actually Veil Molten Shell? It is. Wow. You gotta be careful with those. I mean, I, I, I'm quite sure those are quite rippy. Oh, here's the boss. Okay. That was, that was pretty quick. We cleared this map really fast, actually. There you go. That was a tier 5 map. That was easy peasy. Alright. Zero monsters remain. Okay. Let's uh let's do another one. Another one. How many how many minutes has it been? It's been twenty minutes. That was really quick. So our clear speed has definitely been increasing. You know, we just did twenty minutes, ten minutes each, ten minutes a map. And you know, I'm not I'm not picking and choosing the easy maps. They are easier maps. That is the truth, but uh, you know, these this is this is all the maps I have, so Now they're they're tier five maps, and someone has been telling me that I should just transmute. Although admittedly, maybe I should use my alterations on these maps, not just transmute it once and do whatever. Um, that might be true. <laughs> but yeah, they're like, don't alk your maps, don't chisel your maps, don't alk your maps. It's only tier five. Uh, and uh, I believe that. You know, what's what's the most efficient way to do maps? Honestly, I'm not too sure. I just roll it and hope for the best. But I mean, we're about to lose our tier 5 pool of two maps. So maybe we should do something about that? Maybe we should have tried to roll better mods on this map? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. What I do know is I definitely need... To increase my map pool, right? That's always the goal. Even if you're... Uh, like, once you get to this point of the game, besides having to level your characters, you also need to focus on being able to... You know, actually farm efficiently. Wow, everything just burned. The range on this thing is just so far. Wild Strike it goes, like, freaking across the map. All right. So I, I mean, at this point, you know, the things we should focus on, maybe it's not just levels, right? Maybe we should think about efficiency. Maybe we should stop picking up these wisdom scrolls from the ground. I can't help it. It's like an instant. It's like a reflex, to be honest. But you know, if if we did stop picking up wisdom scrolls, I bet our clear speed would increase even further. I'm like forcing myself to not pick up that portal scroll. It's so tempting. Corrupting Flood. That wasn't even that bad. A wharf map, tier 2. Not what I wanted. Oh, acceleration. Oh, we're fast. We're real fast. Let's go! Oh my goodness! That's what I call clear speed. Let's turn on Veil Haste too. Oh, it's too fast. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> oh! Look at me go!
More Veil Haste. Oh, this is what I call clear speed, man. Yeah, there we go. Obviously, we're going to have to come back and pick up all of our items. What channel map? Okay. Okay, let's slow down for a second. Um, we're going to have to go back. Okay. Okay, so, so the Acceleration Shrine is done. We've had our fun. That was that was really cool. I wish we were like that fast all the time. I wonder if you can make a build like that. How fast can you go? Actually, I'm sure you could. If you can ask a question like that, someone must have done it. And by that someone, I mean Gouda. All right. What's the boss in Undergr Underground Sea? I can't remember. Oh, is it the bear? It might be. But yeah, look at this clear speed, man. I'm really happy with... Uh, I guess at the end of the at the end of the day, I was pretty happy with this build. It clears well. It's survivable for the most part. It does help with a claw and life gain on hit, where we like leech back 100 HP per like per hit. Maybe even more if we kill packs. Oh, it's a totem. That's pretty easy. There you go. Okay, now we gotta somehow make our way back. Because the map is not cleared, right? There are still monsters remaining. And I'm quite sure there are quite a few drops that I didn't bother picking up. Because I was, uh... I was in the middle of having fun with the Acceleration Shrine. Alright, this way. Oh, it's it's taking every ounce of effort to not pick up those uh, those wisdom scrolls. I'm trying to not pick them up, just so that we can uh, just move a little faster. Turns out nothing actually dropped. Oh, here's some stuff. What? No, it's not too much clutter. I mean clatter. Too much clatter. Oh, here are the packs. I remember I saw a chisel over here. Chisel? A chrome? Not a chisel? Really? Is the map done? Yeah, it's done. Okay. There you go, another map. No tier f no t no tier five drops. We must have goofed somewhere. Ah oh, man, tier two, tier two, tier three. And we got we got a few tier threes now, and quite a few tier twos. Where where are my tier 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 fours tier fives, man? Okay. Um. Maybe I can run this one un unidentified? That will give me uh, some more rarity. It's only been 30 minutes. So I wouldn't mind running one more. Last one, I guess. Arena. Wait, what's the right arena? Is it the bird? I 
I don't know what the boss here is either. But uh, if it's Rippy, I feel like this one might be Rippy. Verici, slay the target's guards, keep the target alive. That's actually quite easy. Since uh, we probably do not have enough damage to kill the target before we kill the guards. Which, by target, I mean the rogue exile. Uh, I think we clear the zones before we go to the next area, right? Or do the narrow areas not have other gates? Is this just like a standalone area? It might be actually. Alright, which one's the boss? Oh, mission complete! I didn't, I didn't even see what the rogue exile was, I just saw someone cycloning over. Okay. There you go. Guards have been killed. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, this build is really good at just randomly clearing trash mobs. Oh wait, I said I wouldn't pick up scrolls, right? I did say that. That doesn't mean I'm not going to pick up coins, though. And the clear speed mostly comes from Elemental Conflux. Once that like comes up, it just does so much damage. Drop bears in the middle of an arena? Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that? Where did they drop from? Alright, sure. I mean, I'll suspend my disbelief in this one. Oh, there is a passageway. What? So am I supposed to go back? See? Drop bears! Why are there drop bears? <laughs> they're jumping from the stands, I suppose. Although if they're jumping from the stands, why are people... I... I don't understand. I mean, who would want to sit next to drop bear? Okay, so this is a separate area. Does that mean I have to clear my area first? Oh, there's more stuff here. This is it? Uh, I think this is it. Yeah, seems like it. These gates won't open. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the where I came from so I can clear out this area right here and talk to Barichi. Right. Okay. Okay, and I gotta clear this area too. This arena is actually pretty annoying. And I don't even know the mods. Let me see. Well, it's not a it's not a curse of any kind. It probably it's like do extra damage or something. Sixty two impre increased quantity. So it must be something like decent, right? We get an automatic increased thirty percent quantity because we're running it on ID. I believe that's what it is. Did you see that? That was me running back and forth thinking, uh, trying to decide whether to pick up that scroll of wisdom or not. It is actually taking every ounce of resolve not to pick up these scrolls. Chromes though, I will pick those up. Okay, so there is no other passageway in this arena. So only that one arena had the passageway. So I guess I, I, guess I had simply gotten lucky there. Okay, makes sense.
Okay. So let's go to the arena over there as well. And clear this part. More plummeting Mersas. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Ah, uh, look, it's a cute little bear. Honestly, they are pretty cute. Look at them. Woo. Come on, don't you think they're cute? I realized that, you know, in these arenas, we're basically just killing doggies all day. Doggies and bears. It's a little cruel, don't you think? Someone called a humane society. Look at all of these doggies that we're killing. This is uh This is what this is this is Right, this right here is what is driving animals to extinction. Killing for sport. Bringer of bones. All right, this is the last bit, I believe. Too much clutter. Too much clutter. Huh? It really is too much, huh? Uh. What do? What? How do I... There. And uh, I, I actually want to go back this time. How did, how did I end up getting more Wisdom Scrolls? Anyways. I thought I had made a resolve not to pick them up anymore. Why? Why do I still have 40 uh, Wisdom Scrolls in my inventory? I don't understand. Alright. Back into the, the arena. Back into the arena. Like, uh... I, I don't know about you, but the only arena I know is uh, Gilbert Arenas. Former player of the... Actually, where do you play? Gilbert Arenas? Orlando Magic? Charlotte Hornets? It's one of those. It was like a blue color team. I think it was Magic. Gilbert Arenas. Alright. I'm assuming this is where the boss is. But I don't know what to expect. Well, what am I expecting here? Okay, well, I don't see anything just yet. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared because I don't know what the boss is. Um, is it even here? I see no boss. Oh, is that it? No. What? Maybe there's no boss yet? Uh, there's another passageway. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is just... We were just here to kill more doggies, that's all. I mean, this is a weird matchup, you know? In order for you to face me, you must kill all my pets. <laughs> Not just a couple of them, all my dogs. Look at how many dogs I have. See my vest, see my vest. Made a real gorilla chest. Alright. 
see this sweater there's no better than authentic Irish leather see this hat plus my cat that's basically that's basically this arena right here this song perfectly exemplifies this map all right what's happening Okay. All right, this must be it. Uh, this is it. Two bosses, three bosses. Oh, they hurt. But uh, summon raging spirits will trigger. It will trigger elemental conflux. So that's actually a good thing, right? And they summon skeletons too. That also triggers elemental conflux. Oh, this trapper probably does the most damage. Oh, oh, oh they hurt. It really does hurt. Puncture. It's a puncture. This guy keeps running. Oh, stop. All right. No maps. No maps. That's. Oh, that's disappointing once again. Is that it? 15 monsters remain. Alright. Give me a map, man! How is it that you drop not a single map? We're, we're on a, like, a... Well, they do drop maps, but nothing... Nothing high. Not a high tier one. We have a map drought right now. And we're thirsty. We're thirsty for maps. We're not getting any. Remaining. There's still 15 monsters remain? No way. What am I missing? Yeah. Oh. Is this it? Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna go through that much trouble. I'll check this arena right here. And if I see nothing, I'm leaving. I see nothing, man. I see nothing. You see nothing, Jon Snow. Um. Fuck it. I'm out of here. <sighs> okay. Let's uh let's ID our items. Too bad about the map situation. If anything, we can buy it from Xana, I guess. A tier 7 map is like one elk. We can buy like a bunch of tier 7s. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know. Anyways, um, uh, that's it for the maps for today. Let's, uh, let's sell some of this stuff. Once again, let's start with the chromatics. Chromatics, chromatics. Wait, that's not, that's not, that's not just a chrome. Good day a lot of chromes. Eight. And there's more. Okay. Good day to you, it looks like all my chromes. So 12 chromes, not bad. Let's do weapons. The big ones. And one small one. You wish to speak with me. 
Nope, nope, nope. Sold. For three alterations. Good day to you, exile. Nope, nope, nope. Uh nope. Okay. This is all you have? Is this all you got? Okay. You wish to speak with me. No, no, no. This is actually strangely satisfying, just taking some time after each session to sell my stuff. This is the part that I enjoy the most actually. It definitely is. And this, 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 this. Oh, there's another chrome. You wish to speak with me. Nope. Uh, close, but no cigar. Energy shield and uh, I don't like the mana part. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Stop. Ah, uh, I don't know. No life. No accuracy. Basically, two mods that are okay. I think you would at least want three mods that you would want. <sighs> nope. Close, but nope. Close to being okay. You wish to speak with me. Oops. Ah, oh, I have a, I don't have any ID scrolls. There you go. How may I be of assistance? Hmm. This is a lot of resistance, but no armor. This one, the, it has the right mods, but uh, the rolls are too low. Uh, no. This one's okay. But it's pretty, it's pretty wishy-washy. I mean, you can get, those are like dime a dozen, you know? So once again, nope. Nope's a daisies. <sighs> get some gavels. Got some, got some flasks right over here. What else? What else? We got some, got some jewels. Okay. So those are basically the vendor items over here. Oops. No, no, and Ugh. I guess no. It has 30 boost speed, which is nice, but has no resistances. So Okay. Now we have some jewels. Is that a blue jewel? It is. The blue jewel is pretty shitty. I'm just gonna straight up sell it. Um, we have some stuff here. Let's ID those. Jeffrey's baptism, a pretty good leveling item. This is a pretty shitty ring, and this is a wow. This is an awful belt. I don't think it can get any worse than that. Okay. So you go into the chaos recipe list. There you go. And this goes into the jewels. 
All my pretty jewels. This is this is the one thing I like, you know. All these jewels, they look nice. That's why you collect them. Look at them. Look at all that unique art. How nice. All right, some maps. Some really shitty maps, to be honest. We got a tier four back, but we used up two tier fives. So was it worth it? Hell no. Ah. What's this? A shore map. And a tropical island. All un unidentified. Look at that. A bunch of unidentified tropical islands. Let's take these and turn them into... Tier 2 is at the very least. How may I be able to Otherwise, we probably won't need it. I mean, that's that's all you're good for, I think. Mountain ledge. Sewer. Okay. And then, uh, what else is left? Just currency? A superior gem. We'll keep those. Alright, so in terms of currency, 10... Ten and ten. Okay, so we got a regal, a chaos, an elk, a scour, fifteen chromes, nineteen alts, which honestly isn't bad. Seven augments, four transmutes, two chisels, one jeweler. The rest is unnoteworthy. Okay. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's buy some jewelers from Elrion. You do not have any jewelers. I'll do that later. Okay. Uh, you know, slowly working our way up in currency once again. Um, and I don't think I, I showed you guys, but I managed to pick up a Skull's Bridal from... Uh, from... From 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 Kadiro, uh, maybe we can do a build with that. I I don't know. We have a bunch of uniques here. We can we can try to do something here. Uh, but but you know, there's still once again there's still quite a few episodes, right? There's still going to be ten episodes before I switch over to another build. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, if you did, you can leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash mnextplace for any updates on new videos and live streams. Otherwise, uh, keep in touch, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.